Cisco and F5, remote access VPN using Cisco Duo multi-factor authentication. So basically what we're gonna do here is I got an F5. Um, I reached out to a buddy of mine, Sebastian. He was kind enough to come in and, and do a quick uh, WebEx with me and um, get the uh, VPN portion of the F5. I've never used F5 before. And he quickly got that set up. And, um, and then so we'll jump into the Duo piece. So that document I was just showing you was the document on how to do the configuration. So you wanna reference that for sure. First thing we're gonna do is protect an application within Duo. So we're assuming you already have the users within Duo and we're coming in and we're gonna configure the F5 application. And that's it, you just hit that protect an application. There's an integration key, a secret key, and an API key. Uh, you, you capture those, then you go here to download the Duo authentication proxy. You install it on the platforms that are supported. And I didn't capture that because it's very, 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 very simple. It was just a next that did the install. And so the only thing we have to do once we get it installed is go into this authproxy.cfg, add the type, the integration key, the secret key, the API key, that's all to do with Duo there, radius IP address, which is the uh, F5, um, and then the Duo only uh, client. And that's it. and then we'll start the service. And then we'll get into configuring the F5. But first we're gonna go into um, the client. And so the radius IP is the client that's reaching out. So that'll be the F5 reaching the auth proxy. So there's the path, that's the file that you want to edit. And you can see here, we need the dual underscore only underscore client. And then we need that radius underscore server underscore iframe. And then you see the type, the, the integration key, the secret key, the API host, the radius IP. Again, that's the F5 um, that's uh, reaching out to the auth proxy. And then radius secret. You got to make sure that in, in that client you have dual underscore only underscore client. Like I said, um, that's in that config file that they show you on the dual website. So it's pretty easy. Then we'll start the service and then we're off to configuring the F5. And all we're going to do is create a um, a, um, a a new authentication scheme for Radius. We'll log in the F5, which is going to point to our auth proxy, right? So that service that we're running, on, in my case, on a Windows uh, machine. So we'll jump right in here. We'll go to Access. We'll go to Radius for authentication, and you'll hit that Create. I've already done this, but I'll, it, it's pretty simple. Once you hit Create, it, it's the same thing. Give it a name. Um, the type is Radius, obviously. In this case, when I'm not using a pool, I'm going direct, and this is to the auth proxy. And the timeout, that's something that you want to make sure that you configure to 60 seconds. Now, it's pretty instant. All the testing I've done is very, very, very quick. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into those access profile and we're gonna we're gonna edit that profile. So this has already been created, right? That's this is the VPN for your F5. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a second um, authentication piece. And the one really cool thing I thought was cool on the F5 when you're when you're in the F5, you can see right at the bottom there it gives you kind of the flow of what that. Uh, looks like so it says start and then you got your login page which is going to use it could use AD auth it could use local auth once you get past it and then you can add that second factor so this is the the properties within the VPN again it, it was really really uh, simple Sebastian did a great job jumping in and and just showing me where things were right um, and it you know he spent probably 20 25 minutes and he gave me enough power to be able to to finish this off and, and build out all this integration so access policy, this is where you're gonna get come in. This is what we added, right? That AA, uh, AAA servers, right? So what we wanna do is just edit that access uh, policy. And all you're gonna do is you're gonna add this radius auth, right? And that's gonna point to duo. And there's that little plus sign that I just uh, hoovered over a little bit, right? Or hovered over a little bit. Um, and all you do is hit that plus sign, the box comes up, and then you put in the parameters that I'm showing you there. And I, I, again, I'm showing you here a little bit more that, that plus sign. 
Once you have all that out, um, you'll close this off. You'll see it added here and we're good to go. We, we've already built all the integration for the most part. There's one small piece that's left and that's around um, this configuration around the footer or the header. Now, I made the mistake first off that I did both. I didn't realize it was one or the other and I did both and it didn't work. So I'm using um, the latest version at this point, I think it's 15.1 on, on F5. And this is what you're gonna add, that line. So you, you just copy it out, you add in your API information, and that's it. This, this HTTP compatible IE Edge piece here that I just scrolled past, it was already in the configuration, so I didn't even have to add that. So it's just one line of code, and this is the flow. So user logs into the F5, whether it's local or um, AD, then it gets pushed to the auth proxy, which then the dual piece gets kicked in, right? If you pass that authentication, it gets passed back, and then F5 allows you, obviously, to connect. So two more pieces left to do. We've got to put in this, um, we got to customize the header um, and we're going to do that here and this is going to give the user the ability to see the actual uh, duo piece when, after they've logged in they've used that first form of authentication okay so common header and then right at the bottom here you can see uh, that script and then the API key that's all you do is you paste that in you save it out You wait for your VPN service to kick in to make sure it's green. So you can see that here. Once it's green, you, you're good to go. You can start testing. And that's it, right? We're talking five minutes, six minutes to get dual integration. So MFA uh, set up with your F5 remote access VPN. So here's my primary login. I'm gonna log in. And when I do that, it gives me the uh, dual uh, integration. So I'll send a push. Let me pop that back up. And you can see there's one authentication uh, request, F5, big IP, accept. And see how quick it was? As soon as I hit accept, I'm already on my way, right? And in this case, is a fresh install, so I had to um, you know, do a couple things here. I don't have a trusted CA and stuff like that either. But you would already have this all built out, right? And all you would have to do is five minutes worth of work and you have the integration with uh, Cisco and F5 uh, leveraging MFA using Duo. Pretty cool stuff.